Breaking news. Tanubu under pressure to sack Bajabiamila over fresh scandal allegations in Aso Rock. President Bola Tanubu is reportedly facing increased pressure to remove his chief of staff, Femi Bajabiamila, following new allegations implicating him in a fresh scandal. Sources suggest that Bajabiamila is under scrutiny for his alleged involvement in corrupt practices, adding to the challenges confronting the president's administration. The recent scandal revolves around Bajabi Amila's purported role as one of the beneficiaries of corruption within the Assets Management Corporation of Nigeria AMCON, during Ahmed Kuru's tenure. According to a report by Special Investigator Jim Abasi, Bajabi Amila is accused of benefiting from Kuru's largesse, particularly in the form of Akoyi properties, during his tenure as the Speaker of the House of Representatives. The report further suggests that Bajabiamila was crucial in ensuring Kuru's continued leadership at AMCON. According to Sahara reporters, the revelation has sparked calls for immediate action, with mounting pressure on President Tanubu to remove Bajabiamila from his position as Chief of Staff. President Bola Tanubu is under pressure from some political associates, whom Kuru has soiled their white robes, including the Honorable Femi Bajabiamila, President's Chief of Staff, who has benefited from Ahmed Kuru's largesse of Akoyi properties from his days as Speaker of the House of Representatives, a source in Aso Rock said. The source noted, Baja had persistently blocked Ahmed Kuru's removal as AMCON's Chief Executive after about nine years in office, over two terms of a democratically elected president. An independent investigator quoted in the report also said, it is clear that the only organ of government that has resources for criminal and forensic investigation of economic and financial crimes is the EFCC. The Jim Abasi Special Investigating Team has only managed to point to areas of infractions but has not succeeded in forensic tracing and following of the money. It can only be strategic that the government hand all the cases over to the EFCC, remove Ahmed Kuru from office and switch around a few directors in the central bank who, without doubt, may be complicit with Godwin M. Afile in this criminal conduct. Otherwise, with those actors in positions, they will continue to obstruct the investigation. You can see the limitations of the presidential special investigators in the CBN establishment. Otherwise, Yemi Cardoso, incumbent CBN governor, will remain in an invisible walled hostage environment of MFILA's network in the CBN, as Barger has surrounded the president with whispers of half-truths.